good morning students i hope you all are well these days we people are doing vector spaces in linear algebra yesterday we took some examples in such a way that an algebraic structure with specific operations that is addition as well as scalar multiplication becomes a vector space yesterday we also discussed what is the meaning of regular or standard addition and regular or standard scalar multiplication we took the examples also today we'll discuss one more example so you can understand the concept of vector space in better form let us see the question is written here let v be the set of all ordered pairs real numbers and consider the following addition and scalar multiplication operations like this first one and this is the second one you can see this this is the definition of vector addition and this is the definition of scalar multiplication this question has four parts one by one we will discuss first second third and fourth again i repeat alpha this is the member of v while solving while attempting the question several times i told go through the questions properly find what is given here v people are doing vector spaces so first you find which set is given what is the nature of the elements and which type of operations be given to us so let us discuss v be the set of all ordered pairs of real numbers that means v is nothing this is r square a comma b such that a b belongs to r set of real numbers v be the set of all ordered pairs say of real numbers and consider the following addition and scalar multiplication operations remember we have to prove we have to check determine whether v is a vector space or not always remember when i say v is a vector space this is in complete statement we must say v is a vector space over the field when field is not given we have to assume the set of a real numbers take it at granted so here field is assumed as a set of real numbers okay so v equals to r square and this is the set of ordered pairs of real numbers this is the first component this is the second component several times this example is discussed this is the set of ordered pairs and if standard addition and standard scalar multiplication be given then 100% v is a vector space yesterday we already discussed standard addition means component wise addition and component wise scalar multiplication it looks like in matrices also so here v equals to r square but the operations v people are given are not regular not natural not standard as we have discussed alpha be the member of v 
beta be the member of P. This is the ordered pair A1, B1, A2, B2 are real numbers because we people are given. Alpha plus beta is defined by this. Scalar multiplication is defined by this one. Again, I am telling you A1 real number, A2 real number, 1 is real number. So, sum of real numbers is a real number. That means this is a real number. This is also a real number. But be careful, this plus is the ordinary plus, this plus is not ordinary, this is this one. Because alpha and beta both are the members of V and elements of V, we people say vectors. So this is the internal composition. This symbol this one is not ordinary multiplication actually it is this one but i told you this symbol is dropped in the favor of this symbol but keep it in mind actually it is this one why is it important we will discuss later on okay here there is no symbol but you remember this is uh, not ordinary multiplication is the symbol if people know that this is scalar multiplication and we have denoted this with respect to this one okay so here this is the real number here this is the real number this is the ordinary multiplication here this is already multiplication but here the external one so here this plus means it is b cross b to b and this one is f cross b to b here f is the field and here is r given this must be in your mind whenever do like this if it is given in this manner in your mind it must be clear that v is this symbol is this this symbol is this and we people are given this one now we consider here this is given so uh, i will not consider all the things this is a real number this is a real number this is a real number so this is sum of real numbers this is also sum of real numbers that means this is a pair of real numbers and pair of real numbers is the member of v so addition is closed Obviously, addition is closed. Second, this is real number. This is also real number. This is multiplication of two real numbers. Here K belongs to R from the field. So this is a pair of real numbers and that is the member of way. So, is killer multiplication is closed means these two operations whatever way people are given are closed okay now we come to the first part you see Compute this. Alpha is given that is 0, 4, the first part, plus this is 1, minus k. Yes. So what will happen according to the definition? If this one is given, then it is a1 plus a2 plus 1 means this plus this first component we added then one more constant that is one specific constant is given so the answer is 0 plus 1 plus 1 and this is 4 plus minus 3 plus 1 and this is 2 and here it is 
5, so it is true comma 2. I hope it is correct. 4 plus 1, 5 minus 8, 2, and it is this one. And this belongs to V. Because this is answer. But remember, this is here it is, this is the ordinary one. Similarly, k alpha k is given to also. k alpha that means 2 alpha means 0 4. And this is the regular scalar multiplication component wise. So this is 0 comma 8 and this is We come to the second part. 0, 0 is not equal to 0. And third one is minus 1, comma minus 1 is 0. It is better to find third one first. But again I am telling you, this is not 0. This is the additive identity. And to avoid the confusion between this symbol and this symbol, it is better to use this one and this one. So, second part indicates this is not the identity element. Minus 1 comma minus 1 is the identity element. So, first we find the identity element and we check is it minus 1 comma minus 1 or it is 0 comma 0. So, let us see. Let A comma B if there is there is an element. A comma B belongs to B. Uh, I write it as uh, X comma. Okay. If there is an element A comma B belongs to V, such that If there is an element a comma b belongs to v such that this plus this equals to this for all belongs to v. Both way means commutative. Then we people say that this is the identity element. Identity element is that which must be the member of the given set and if any element of the given set is composed with this the answer is the element itself that is by definition so here i suppose let this is the member of v if there is an element it is not necessary but i have written if there is an element this belongs to v such that this operation holds for all this then we will say a comma b will be the identity of this now let us apply this Therefore, by definition, what is the given definition of addition? Component we added with plus 1, so it is x plus a plus 1 by plus b plus 1 equals x comma y x plus a plus 1 equals to x and y plus b plus 1 equals to y. 
if two ordered pairs are equal then the respective components are equal that is the definition of ordered pairs here we have applied this implies a equals to minus 1 and b is also minus 1 therefore a comma b is minus 1 comma minus 1 and this belongs to b that is set of ordered pairs to r square. r square means r cross r. It means therefore minus 1 comma minus 1 is this. This is additive identity. Yes. Hence is not equal to this. Both the parts have been proved at a time. Identity element is this and this this one. Okay. Now, if you want to verify the answer that is it identity or not, suppose uh, you consider these two members, this one and this one. So, I consider one of them. Let now this is composed with 1 comma minus 3 and I say this is the identity for example if this is the additive identity then the answer must be the element itself means the answer must be 1 comma minus 3 again so use the definition this component is added to this plus 1 minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 1 comma minus 3 then identity minus 1 minus 1 so yes this and this cancelled out similarly this and this and the answer is uh, this is 1 comma minus 3 again the same element we find this therefore minus 1 comma minus 1 is the identity result is verified you can consider any pair any ordered pair and verify it to find the answer as such so here minus 1 comma minus 1 is the additive identity suppose I compose this with 0 comma 0 for example, I write this 1 comma minus 3 with this. Then you say it is 1 plus 0 minus 1 and minus 3 plus 0 plus 1. By definition, you can see components be added plus 1. So it is 1 plus 0 plus 1 minus 3 plus 0 plus 1. So here it is 2, 1 plus 1, 2 and this is minus 2 this is not equals to 1 comma minus 3 remember so this is not the identity element here identity element is minus 1 comma minus 1 and this is the way to find the identity element okay I also add one more part here also find the inverse of that particular point then 
can find the answer just like this. So, alright, how to find the adjective inverse? Suppose x comma y belongs to P. If there is an element A comma P belongs to V such that x comma y Composed with this, the answer must be the identity element both way. Then A comma B is known as the identity of X comma Y. Which identity? That is identity. Additive identity. You practice on it, otherwise you will be stuck. Write again and again, recall the definition, how to write. If there is an element which must be in V, such that this element is composed with this, the given element, the answer is the identity element both way, commutative then this member is known as the inverse. So, let us simplify. By definition, this says uh, x plus a plus 1 y plus b plus 1 minus 1 comma minus 1. This definition is given to us. We are using this. Okay, remember here it is. So, this is x plus a plus 1 equals minus 1 and y plus b plus 1 equals to minus 1. This implies a equals to minus 2 minus x and b equals to minus 2 minus y. Therefore, a comma b is minus 2 minus x minus 2 minus y and this belongs to v. Why is it v? x and y both are real numbers and that was the member of v. This is a real number, so this is a real number, this is a real number, so this is an ordered pair of real numbers. Therefore, this is the member of R square. Hence, the member of P. So, therefore, minus 2 minus x minus 2 minus y is the additive inverse of x comma This is not asked, but this is the extra information for you. Okay? Find additive. Inverse of, suppose I say uh, 1 comma minus 3. 
So here it is x, here it is y. Additive inverse of x comma y is minus two minus x minus two minus y. Therefore, additive inverse of one comma minus three is minus two minus one minus two minus of five so this will be plus three that means this is minus three comma one it will be this so what is the additive inverse of this this is the answer beautifully you see this is the reverse order unfortunately if you want to verify the answer you must compose this element with this then your answer will be identity so let us say 1 minus 3 is minus 2 then plus 1 so it is minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 then plus 1 is minus 1 so the answer is verified but this is not asked but this is the way to prove it it means the addition operation is closed. I have not checked the associativity. Maybe it is true. Then identity element holds. Multiplicative inverse holds. You just check the commutativity and you find. The last part find two vector space assumptions that fail to hold. We come to this point. Find two vector space axioms that fell to hold. Now we come to scalar multiplication. If you remember, K A belongs to B. A plus B alpha is A alpha plus B alpha. Then uh, a times alpha plus beta is A alpha plus B beta and A B alpha is A B alpha and 1 alpha equals to alpha 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the properties. Find two vector space axioms. This holds. This is correct. Because it is closed with respect to scalar multiplication. Let us come to the second one. Let I consider this example or any other. Suppose I say 2 comma 5 belongs to you. And alpha is 2 comma 5 mm. k equals to uh, not a is 1 and b is 3 for example then a plus b times alpha equals a plus b means it is 1 plus 3 2 comma 5. I am checking this. This is 4 because it is the multiplication of this. Sorry, addition of these two numbers it is 4. By definition, it is 8 comma 20. Fine. And this is the member of B. Also, I took the right hand side that is A alpha plus B beta equals. What is A1? What is alpha? Alpha is 2 comma 5. No. Plus 
B, B means 3 and this is 2 comma 5. This is 2 comma 5 plus 6 comma 15. See, the important part here. These are two ordered pairs and if we add, then component wise we add. So it is 2 plus 6 that is 8 and 5 plus 15 that is 20. But you remember, if we do like this, then this property holds. This one. But you remember, we people are making a mistake. This is the ordinary plus because two scalars between these two multiplication that is scalar multiplication. This is the regular operation we people are given, so it is correct. But this is a vector quantity, this is a vector, this is a vector, and between two vectors means between alpha and beta, we use the addition operation that is plus with it is not the regular plus we people are given this particular symbol that means here it is here it is here it is so be careful means when this is the ordinary one here it is okay here it is this symbol be careful here it is this here it is this now what is the definition? 2 plus 6 plus 1. This is given in the question. And this is 5 plus 15 plus 1. So this is 9 and this is 21. So now So this is not equal to this one. This belongs to V, but A plus B alpha is not equal to A alpha plus B alpha. So this property, this axiom is felt and hence this is not a vector space. Okay, second, you can try this one and you find the answer of this. So this is a wonderful example. In this example, we found the inverse, we found the identity element and how to note that which plus is given and which plus we people are using. So this is very important. Thank you very much. Today, I'll upload uh, homework. So you just go through this one. If you have any difficulty comment in comment box uh, students are doing the work and they are uh, commenting and i'm also trying to reply all of them so thank you thank you very much god bless you